हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू लर्न लाइफोलॉजी हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द आर एन ए वर्ल्ड और आर एन ए वर्ल्ड हाइपोथिस विच इज एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट और पॉइंट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ अर्थ वी कॉल इट एज अ हाइपोथिस बिकॉज इट इवन इफ इट इज हैविंग एविडेंसेज बट दे आर क्वाइट लिमिटेड एंड इट नीड्स फर्दर इन्वेस्टिगेशन टू प्रूव द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लाइफ फ्रॉम द आर एन ए सो इन डिटेल वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट एक्चुअली इज आर एन ए वर्ल्ड so this rna world the rna world hypothesis was first proposed as stage in evolution as i have told that the when we talk about the evolution of life the rna world concept is very important this hypothesis it describes the living system which is based on rna that hypothesis ultimately says that the living world or living cells they have started forming from the rna and not from the dna two persons are involved in this rna world hypothesis or you can say that they are having very important role in explaining this rna world hypothesis the first one is carl woos who proposed for first time proposed the idea of independent rna in 1960 this name carl woos is very famous among the evolutionary biologists because he is a famous microbiologist american microbiologist biophysicist biophysicist and most importantly he gave us the concept or you can say he gave us the new domain that is the archaea and thereby he proposed the three domain system that is archaea bacteria and eukarya and the another person was walter gilbert this walter gilbert he was a nobel laureate and he for first time used the phrase rna world in 1986 gilbert was actually a physicist he was assistant professor of physics but his wife used to work with james watson and thereby it leads uh, that by uh, the gilbert got interest in molecular biology and he started working in the field of molecular biology and then he become a famous molecular biologist or uh, uh, he was having his interest in molecular biology as well as biochemistry as well as physics so so many things are there so these were the two persons which were have gave us idea about the rna world so let's start with the rna world the primordial soup on the earth gave rise to number of organic molecules from simpler organ inorganic compound one of which happened to be rna this concept we have seen in last video when we talk about the origin of earth the earth was containing so many gases and which on cooling convert got converted into the inorganic simple inorganic compounds which we call the primordial soup and this primordial soup when they gave rise to the organic molecules one of them was maybe the rna as we see among the biomolecules rna is the only one which can store information and carry out catalytic action too so why we put this rna world hypothesis or why rna is having important role in the evolution of earth that due to the two characteristics of this rna one is it can store the information even if the dna can also store information but along with storing the information the rna it can also carry out the catalytic action that is it is having enzymatic activity this hypothesis proposes that the self replicating rna molecule were precursor to life this is very important line about this rna world hypothesis the ultimate gist of this rna world hypothesis that is this hypothesis proposes the self replicating rna molecules were the precursor to life it is generally accepted that the current life on earth it descends from the rna many scientists favors rna world hypothesis in which rna and not the dna was first genetic molecule on the earth but still controversy is there relatively short rna molecules which can duplicate have been artificially produced in lab and this was a very important evidence that prove the life may have descended from the rna and not the dna so what could be the stages of the rna world let's see the very first thing that is formation of nucleotides the nucleotides uh, that is the biomolecules may have formed from the organic compounds the simple organic compounds again that may be a spontaneous formation we are not having the 100% surety or 100% evidence to explain this formation of nucleotides for first time on the earth still we are having so many evidences 
the second step can be the formation of rna molecule that is on a clay template we have talked about in last video we have talked about the clay that is montmorillonite which may have uh, provided might have provided the support for the formation of the polymeric structure of this nucleotide that is rna molecule then the third is rna replication when a polymer of nucleotide that is rna has formed it may got replicated the rna molecule that is the ribozymes which are having the catalytic activities had a selective advantage and the last one that is the link between sequence of rna and sequence of proteins now we study the protein synthesis we know that whatever sequence is present on the protein or amino acid they are due to the rna molecule so this was again a uh, very important evidence to prove rna world or rna as the precursor of life so here is the diagram which explains actually what rna can do here in step 1 you can see the rna they may have formed from the inorganic sources now this rna they may get uh, self replicated they are having the ability of self replication via ribozymes and in step 3 you can see that the rna they can catalyze the protein synthesis which we know very well so rna may get converted into the another rna molecule by the replication self replication or they might have formed the proteins so both these possibilities are there again in fourth stage you can see the membrane formation again for the membrane formation we have seen that the phospholipids they aggregated in presence of montmorillonite clay and they formed the membrane structure membrane like structure or the lipid bilayer and when this rna it entered into this lipid bilayer it might have formed the primitive cells and as we know the process of reverse transcription this rna might have got converted into dna but due to stability of the dna dna has become the genetic material and not the rna so this was actually over all uh, a complete concept about this rna world hypothesis so according to this hypothesis the rna stored both genetic information and catalyzed the chemical reactions in the primitive cells both these properties of this rna they are very important then only later in the evolutionary time did dna take over as the genetic material and proteins become the major catalyst structural component of the cells these all are the statements of this hypothesis as we know rna still catalyzes several fundamental reactions in modern day cells which can be viewed as a molecular fossils of an earlier world so this is again a very important evidence to explain this rna world hypothesis that was all about rna world thank you for watching from learn lipology thank you